whether you are good at passing or defending. The matter of playing the game depends on the most important thing joystick. Any player who can control his joystick better than a normal player can easily outrun him without any hesitation. In today's video, let's learn basic joystick settings and controls. There are three types of joystick movements available. The first is fixed one, where your joystick will be sticked into one particular position. Second is movable, where the entire joystick will move along with the common movement. And the last is off, where the joystick is invisible, and you can control the movements from the left area of the screen. And here is the important settings called movement input range. Now listen, you can select your movement input range from narrow to wide. So if you select narrow joystick, then you can notice that your movement of changing directions are a little faster than the two other ranges. But remember one thing, faster is not accurate and accurate is not fastest. So you need to understand which type is familiar with your gameplay style. Wide input range is more accurate as it has a bigger circle area for the main joystick, so you can move towards accurate directions smoothly with it. And there is also one medium input range available. And I'll suggest you to play with medium input range as a beginner, because you just need to understand which one is best suited for you. Now, obviously you cannot play a thousand times better with only proper settings. Yeah, the proper settings will help you for sure. But you need to play matches with right techniques. Here is your first technique. Joystick and action mix. Mostly while you are using your joystick to run with the player, you use dash button. Dash will help you to boost player to his maximum speed. But remember, speed can fail to control the ball smoothly. So when you specifically controlling one player, then try to avoid using dash and move the joystick slowly. It will help your player to control the ball way better, and you will be able to understand the player movements with this technique too. Picked his way through. Oh, that's a cracking ball. Great hit! Second technique. Joystick movement, circle. In some scenarios, your player cannot forward because of opponent's marking. If you try to move sideways, that can also create complications to control the player. In that cases, try to move the joystick in a circular way to control the ball. With this, you can outrun the upcoming tackles and pressures from your opponent and successfully dribble against those players. Third technique. Joystick movement, confuse. Whenever you are attacking from one particular direction of the field, try to change the direction within some moves to confuse you opponent's defending tactics. Check how I made a rotation towards other side and made a smooth attack with this movement. You just need to confuse your opponents with your uncomfortable movements to let them think about your playing methods. Fourth and last technique. Calm movement. The calmer you can play, the better your game play will be. Every time when you are moving your player with the joystick, you need to watch the opponent players surrounding your player. Try to create openings and control calmly. Mind matters the most in hard situations, so you need to train your mind muscle memory to handle in such scenarios. So that's all I got in this video, I hope it helped you to understand joystick. I'll make more tutorials about joystick controls soon. So check this playlist to learn from the start.